<clears throat> hey guys, today I thought I would do another Mortal Kombat 2 video playthrough. Uh, we're, we're due for another Mortal Kombat 2 playthrough. I've done a Mortal Kombat 3 here recently, I've done some more Killer Instinct stuff. Let's do Mortal Kombat 2 today. Um, now, I'm going to play through it on the very hard difficulty level. I think today I might just go with, uh, I don't really know. That's honestly, like, I'm thinking maybe, maybe, uh, Sub-Zero? Let's do Sub-Zero. Sounds good. Guys, with the, with the playthrough with the ninjas and a lot of the other characters in this game, it's not terribly difficult to uh, really just do that right there. You just gotta jump back and uh, they'll jump in at you generally. Even if they don't, it's not a big deal. You just kind of reset and do it again. If you're in the corner, let him throw you out. Get out of that corner as fast as possible. Unless, of course, your health is low, then you gotta, you gotta try something different. But you can just jump back and high kick. You know, if you want to get through the whole game, just like that. It's that simple. But you can do that on, uh, against everybody, almost. Minus, you know, Kintar, obviously, and Shao Kahn. That's what I like to do, is just kind of jump back and kick. You can make it a little bit more advanced simply by, um, yeah, let's get out of the corner real quick. You can do other stuff too, like you don't have to jump back and kick, you can do uppercuts or, you know, other things as well. If they're not cooperating, you can start sweeping at them and force them back a little bit. Scorpion is definitely not cooperating. Let's get ourselves out of the corner there. But that's, it's a very simple process guys, jump back and kick. That's one thing you can do. Um, you can jump back kick, you can do, jump back and jump kick, you can jump back and, you know, high punch, high kick, you do all kinds of different things. But that's the main thing. Uh, with Melina, it's a, even a little bit simpler. You can uh, actually get her about sweep distance away from you, and you just sit right there, just jump kick her out of the air. What she does is she automatically wants to throw her side, jump back and throw her sides at you. So, when she does that, you just do a little quick jump kick. Yeah. She still falls for that jump back thing though. Okay. Pretty straightforward guys. Not very difficult uh, when you do it this way. Again, it's Mortal Kombat 2, so if you try to fight the enemies just straight up, you're probably going to lose. The best thing to do is just do these kind of, if you want to get through the game, is just do little exploits like this. Something else you can do, uh, if you wait a second on the roundhouse, you kick them. Uh, instead of doing it that fast, wait till they get a little closer to the ground, and do that right there. You, uh, you'll, when, you do, when you let them get closer to the ground, you can roundhouse them further away, and then you can throw like your ice on the ground and do an uppercut or something like this right here. Then we get closer. There you go. So. Just redo that again. And I'm sorry guys, I do not remember their babalities or their friendships, so. <laughs> I'm just gonna do the very basic uh, fatalities I know with him. I oftentimes will jump at them because the first thing they would like to try to do is throw projectiles. Not always, but there's a good chance, a very strong chance they'll throw a projectile if you, uh, you know, if you jump at them early in the round. So pretty straightforward, guys. I know I keep saying that, but that's just how, how, how easy it is to beat this game. If you don't mind using like exploits and whatnot. All the ninjas, ninjas, excuse me, all the ninjas and a few other of the um, characters have that ability. Oops, got messed it up. I have that ability to just jump back and the computer jump back at you. Johnny Cage, I usually duck on him in the very beginning of the round, and that's why. He doesn't always do a shadow kick, but sometimes he does. So if, if you duck, you can um, make him 
Yeah, you have a chance of doing that right there. Pick it up with the uppercut. Otherwise, it's the same routine. Jump back and kick. There you go. I don't get to see him do it twice in a row usually, but he did. Oops, just on the ground ice. on the very beginning. She put on the house here too fast. There we go. Oh, missed my ground ice. She does that once in a great while and you can just pick her up with the uppercut. Just let her get to the other side of you and then do an uppercut real quick. There's other strategies you can use, but today I'm just showing you the very basic of how to get through this game. There certainly is. Oh, messed it up. There certainly is other strategies, other ways to get through this game with Sub Zero. Nothing a whole lot different than that. There's like just one or two other things you can add to that. Like I said, I'll show you all, I'll save that for another video another time. But you can do more than just the roundhouse, uh, roundhouse like that. This is just going to be a very basic video on how to get through the game with Sub-Zero. And as you can see guys, just jumping back and doing that high kick really messes the computer up. Like I said, if they get too close to you, you can do a little sweep. That's great without having to get thrown. A lot of times, you know, if you, as long as you have enough health for it, a lot of times you just have to risk getting thrown, uh, getting thrown out of the out of the side. Like if they got you in the corner, because almost anything you do, they're gonna jump kick you out of the air. So if you have enough health, let them throw you out and uh, you know start fresh outside the corner. <laughs> so makes a big difference actually. Once in a while, Reptile will slide at you, or the other Sub-Zero will slide at you. And when they do that, you just hike him. See if he does it. Nope. <clears throat> see if he does this for Lego. Just hike him. Disappeared on me. Just hold this down. Makes that extra noise right there. Chances are, if you guys know that fatality, you already know to do that as well. But in case you don't. All right, Sub Zero versus Sub Zero. Like I said, he'll slide at you also as well. You we can just do a high kick. Not matter. Just keep jumping back and high kicking. <clears throat> See, it's not it's not so tough. Like I said, you can't. I don't know of anyone that can actually straight up fight the computer in this game and uh, and win. 
So you have to use some kind of an exploit of some sort. This just happens to be one of the better ones to use against the computer with the Sub Zero. And let's see, Sub Zero, or Scorpion, Reptile, Shang Tsung, uh, who else can do it? Jax, Johnny Cage. Is that everybody? Sub Zero, Reptile, Scorpion, Jax, Johnny Cage. Uh, Baraka can do can do the same kind of thing. Um, where you, and what I'm referring to is, of course, the little jump back strategy like that, where they jump back and kick Nick. They jump with you, so. Now, when it comes to people like uh, Kung Lao and uh, Liu Kang, Melina, Katana, Raiden, they have a different strategy you have to use entirely. So. I've already done, uh, let's see, I've already done a Kung Lao and a Liu Kang video at this point. And like I said, it was a different, different strategy entirely. You can't just jump back and they'll jump back with you. So it's a, it's a lot different. Probably the best thing you can do is do that, that kind of delayed roundhouse kick. That way, it'll kick them further away and you get through your ground ice and they'll walk right into it. That right there. Ooh, well, he almost got me with that hat, didn't he? Mm. Oh, well, it was Jade. I could have fought Jade, I guess. Oh, well. Maybe next time. If they do jump in at you, you can do that, that little number right there. Just I kick them right out of the air. Oh, I can't put my the ground dice very well. There it goes. I'm in trouble dropping it. Now, we're not quite there yet, but we're about to be. When it comes to Kentaro, um, a couple things. The, the, the main thing is you want him to be able to, you want him to be able to like uh, not block your jump kicks. Sometimes he does, he block everything. And other times, which is what we're hoping for, is that he won't block hardly anything. I'm dropping these fatalities or something. So yeah, like I said, the goal is just to keep jump kicking him, okay? Again, there's other strategies. This is the most basic one to get through the game. See, I can already tell he's probably gonna let us keep jump kicking him. He may start blocking it. It doesn't look like it. There you go. Just keep jump kicking him. That's all you gotta do. Uh, usually he'll let you get away with it, but not always. There are some rounds where he's blocking just about everything, and you know, when we come to that at some point, we'll have to come up with some different strategies. There you go, guys. Shao Kahn, there's a, there's a trick you can do where you keep jumping him and uppercutting him. You can also, if you want to take your time with it, you can also do this right here. Just keep throwing jump kicks. And he'll block them. And uh, that's it. You just keep doing that over and over again. Just don't want to miss it. But he'll block them and sometimes he'll try to point fingers at you. If he does it, don't back him in the corner. Let him get a little space. So bring him back out here. Oops, see I missed him right there. That's okay. 
the other strategy I was telling you about is you can also just jump in and do uppercuts. I don't like that one as much because it's, it's a little bit more risky. Because sometimes he'll just do that slide over and over again. Like that right there. But you can just keep jumping in at him. And see, he just kept doing the slide. So other times it works great, but not always. So I prefer just to keep just doing jump kicks. I know it's longer. But it does work. It does get the job done. But don't back him in the corner or he'll just start sliding at you. There you go. Just, just keep making him block it. He will never attack you. And sometimes he'll even do that little finger taunt. And uh, you just jump kick him again. So, pretty straightforward, guys. So, just a break, quick breakdown. When you're fighting anybody, uh, any computer controlled opponent, aside from Kentaro and Shao Kahn, you just gotta jump back and they'll usually jump back with you. You can do whatever you want to, kick them out of the air, jump kick them, slide, whatever you wanna do. Um, when it comes to Kentaro, as you saw, you wanna just make sure he's receiving your jump kicks. Um, in other words, just keep jump kicking him, take your time with it. If he starts blocking them, uh, that's a different thing. You, there's other strategies to use against that. That particular instance um, but I will tell you it's tough once he starts blocking it is hard to, to inflict damage to him a lot harder uh, so you really want that that jump kick to work very well for you and then when it comes to Shao Kahn there's a couple of strategies you can do there you can jump in and start doing the uppercuts you know duck down he'll do an attack and do an uppercut um, and then the other one that you saw me predominantly doing was just just kept getting close to him and jump kicking jump kicking jump kicking jump kicking. then back in the corner you know, back away from him and then start the process over and over again. He won't ever attack you like that. He'll just, he'll just keep blocking. So he'll either receive block damage or he'll, you know, taunt you and then your, your kick will connect. So that's it, guys. Pretty straightforward uh, victory with uh, Sub-Zero and a lot of the other um, characters in this game. You can win the exact same way. But I just wanted, to get, wanted you guys to see a very basic playthrough with Subs. Um, I call them Subs. It's Sub-Zero, whatever. Uh, in the meantime, guys, if you did like the video, please do give me a like. Consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Uh, this channel is just full of these kind of videos where I do a lot of uh, uh, playthroughs. I do a lot of, you know, just little videos about kind of glitches in the game or just little, you know, just little strategies, stuff like that. So um, if you're into that kind of thing, I do a lot of those uh, with primarily Mortal Kombat and Killer Instinct. I also do movie unboxings, believe it or not. I do like, uh, I collect 4K movies and Blu-ray movies. And, I do a lot of unboxings of those as well. So, anyways, guys, for now, that is it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, we will see you in the next one. Peace.